68 defendants charge an indictment of dozens of members and associates of San Fernando Valley white supremacist gang. This article is published Wednesday, October 2nd, 2024, Los Angeles. Federal and local law enforcement have arrested 42 members and associates of the SFV Peckerwoods, a San Fernando Valley-based white supremacist street gang on a 76-count federal grand jury indictment alleging they engaged in a years-long pattern of racketeering activity that included trafficking of drugs, including fentanyl, illegal firearms possession, and COVID-19 benefits and loan fraud, the Justice Department announced today. The indictment unsealed today charges a total of 68 defendants with a score of federal crimes, conspiracy to violate the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations, RICO Act, conspiracy to distribute controlled substances, distribution of controlled substances, bank fraud, conspiracy to commit bank fraud, aggravated identity theft, possession of a firearm in furtherance of a drug trafficking crime, unlawful possession of a firearm and ammunition by a felon, and possession of a 15 or more unauthorized access devices. The 29 defendants arrested today are expected to be arraigned this afternoon in a United States District Court in downtown Los Angeles. Prior to today's takedown, 13 defendants were already in custody. During the investigation, law enforcement seized large quantities of illegal firearms and dozens of pounds of fentanyl, methamphetamine, and heroin, according to the indictment. The Peckerwoods' violent white supremacist ideology and wide-ranging criminal activity pose a grave menace to our community, said United States Attorney Martin Estrada. By allegedly engaging in everything from drug trafficking to firearms offensives to identity theft to COVID fraud, and through their alliance with a neo-Nazi prison gang, the Peckerwoods are a destructive force. In prosecuting the members of the Peckerwoods criminal organization, our office is carrying out its mission to protect the public from the most dangerous threats. The Justice Department has dealt a decisive blow to the San Fernando Valley Peckerwoods. A violent white supremacist gang that we charge and responsible for trafficking deadly fentanyl and other drugs committing robberies and perpetrating financial fraud to fund both their criminal enterprise and that of the Aryan Brotherhood, said Attorney General Merrick B. Garland. With today's charges and arrest, the Justice Department together with our state, local, and federal partners has targeted the heart of the gang's operations and we will continue to zero in on the criminal enterprise that endanger our communities. This operation, led by our Joint Terrorism Task Force, disrupted a racially motivated violent extremist group who engaged in a wide range of criminal activity, said Akil Davis, Assistant Director in Charge of the FBI Los Angeles Field Office. This case strikes at the heart of our collective mission to rid our communities of the corrosive elements that fuel violence and extremism that greatly impact our way of life. The FBI, along with our federal, state, and local partners, remain strongly committed to working every day to make sure the people of the Southland remain safe. The San Fernando Valley Peckerwords, the Aryan Brotherhood, and their associates are fused by one thing, hatred. Matthew Allen, special agent in charge of the DEA Los Angeles Field Division, said. It appears, however, that the business of hate was not enough for them. Driven by greed, they engaged in other crimes, including drug distribution, pushing out deadly fentanyl onto our streets, operating from corners of the San Fernando Valley. They conducted their crimes within and beyond the 818 community. Today's large-scale indictments and arrests reflect a relentless commitment to dismantling criminal organizations that continue to harm our communities. According to the indictment that a grand jury returned on September 26, 
The Peckerwoods is a street gang based in communities in the San Fernando Valley whose members engage in a wide variety of criminal activity, including drug trafficking, violent crime, and fraud. As a white supremacist gang, the Peckerwoods at times takes order from the Aryan Brotherhood, California's dominant prison-based white supremacist gang, and maintains an alliance with the Mexican Mafia prison gang which controls most Latino street gangs in California. The Peckerwoods use Nazi tattoos, graffiti, and, icon and iconography to indicate their violent white supremacy extremist ideology. These tattoos and iconography include swastikas, the symbol 88 used by violent white supremacy extremists as a code for Hail Hitler, and images of Nazi aircraft. Members and associates of the gang use social media to share information with each other about their criminal activities and gang rules, to identify gang members in a good standing, and to target people who broke the gang's rules. The social media use included a members-only Facebook group and private direct message between the gang's members and associates. From at least December 2016 to September 2024, Peckerwood's members conducted and participated in the affairs of their criminal enterprise by engaging in violence and threats of violence to preserve and expand the gang's criminal operations, which promoted a climate of fear. Members and associates of the gang illegally maintained firearms and ammunition in furtherance of these aims. To generate revenue for the gang, its members trafficked narcotics, including fentanyl, heroin, and methamphetamine. Specifically, lead defendant Claire Patricia Havland, 62, of Chatsworth, and co-defendants Brian Glenn Eklund, 53, of Chatsworth, and Brianne Brewer, 38, of North Hollywood, maintained and oversaw drug stash houses where large quantities of fentanyl, heroin, methamphetamine, and other drugs were stored prior to distribution. Havland and Ekeland Lund allegedly mailed illegal drugs to customers and used applications such as Zelle and Cash App to receive money from drug buyers and send money to their drug sources. They also generated revenue via robberies and financial fraud and participated in identity theft schemes. For example, from at least March 2021 to July 2023, defendants Sean Craig Gluckman, 35, of Encino, Maria Anna James, 30, of Canyon Country, and others submitted false and fraudulent applications for the Paycheck Protection Program, the PPP, which was designed to aid businesses harmed by the economic fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic. The defendants posing as a sole proprietors signed fraudulent PPP loan applications on behalf of individuals incarcerated in California state prisons and collected a portion of the fraudulent obtained proceeds from co-conspirators and payment for their assistance. Gluckman, in April 2021, submitted an application that falsely stated he was self-employed artist slash writer with a gross income of nearly $250,000. Later that month, he obtained a PPP loan in the amount of $20,833. In a separate scheme, Gluckman submitted fraudulent unemployment insurance applications in the name of other people in the California Employment Development Department to fraudulently obtain jobless benefits. The proliferation of gang-related organized crime deteriorates the core of our society, said Los Angeles Police Chief Dominic Troy. Taking guns out of hands of gang members and drugs off the streets is just one of the more steps towards reducing the deterioration. Today is yet another example 
of how local and regional and federal law enforcement with a match dedication are working together to investigate, apprehend, and prosecute criminals. When criminal organizations cross jurisdictional lines, it makes conducting investigations and subsequent prosecutions much more difficult, said Ventura County Sheriff Jim Fryhoff. Having our federal law enforcement partners' involvement in such cases greatly enhances our ability to protect not only the citizens of our county, but also those of the region of the state. The DOL slash OIG will continue to allocate, investigate resources to support our local and state federal law enforcement partners in the fight against organized crime, particularly when it involves matters within our jurisdiction, said Quinton Hyden, special agent in charge of the United States Department of Labor Office of Inspector General's Western Region. The investigation reinforces our commitment to protecting the integrity of the nation's unemployment system. If convicted, the defendants would face a statutory maximum sentence of life in federal prison. I'm going to end the video there. Hope y'all liked it. Give it a like. Comment your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. i see you on the next one. I appreciate you. Much love, peace, blessings, much gratitude.